What's up, my babies? It's your girl, my life is Serenity, and I am back with another vlog. I think it's gonna be a vlog, I really don't know. Calling right here, and I just went to a taco truck and picked up some tacos. So, these are burrito tacos. This is the sauce that it is in, and this is street corn. I got the burrito tacos as well with the um, this the dipping sauce. sauce. And this is just regular rice. Your girl is about to try this food. And I put it where I got it from. If you're in Houston, I put it where I got it from. This place actually have like five or six different locations. So, the girl can just try it. Dang, I ain't getting no spoons from there. Little it's spoon work, yeah. that goes to a cook. So let's just, I need to, this is street corn, y'all. You like corn? Mm-hmm. You wanna try it? Mm -hmm. you got cilantro. That was cilantro. Cilantro is so good, y'all. This is really good. I think I taste banana. It's first. spicy. <clears throat> I was just thinking, dang, I ain't getting no hot sauce, but it's already spicy. I ain't said I was on no diet, but I am <laughs> trying to eat healthier. <laughs> I wonder how this sauce tastes. So you gonna try your street corn or? Yeah, make sure you raise the thing up. Thank you. Put a little lemon on here. I know y'all can't see. I apologize, but I'm gonna eat my taco right now. I'm dipping it in the sauce. I'll just tell y'all what I'm doing. I'm drenching my lemon on there. I mean, my. my. It's good. 10 out of 10. 10. You know who and it's is? Tuesday, y'all. Taco Tuesday. Yep. You know yeah. Who he is? He be eating people food. Hmm? He be eating people food and, and regular that. He. Can you never know who Keith is? The guy he go to restaurants and he he on things on TikTok. Mm -mm. Yeah, that guy he be trying to food. He be like, I'm eating my honest pink. It's a 10 out of 10. He'll eat it and he'll rate it. He real mm -hmm. famous. You know what It's so good, y'all. 10 out of 10. They got like five different locations in Houston. So I'm gonna put them down below. That's why as a business owner, I don't, if I want, I don't, I don't care about my goddamn food, like giving, my, giving food to my customers. Cause you never know who coming, who doing reviews. Like, no, I'm not gonna pay And he's famous. He got like over good. millions of followers. I'm so. gonna play shit. That's what I'm saying. I love about working at Five Guys. They did not play that shit. Colin picked up some crumble cookie. Mmm. -hmm. Y'all, this one. Now I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna try that one because if that's coconut, it's no. I don't even like coconut. I have no clue what this one is, but y'all know you girl gonna try it. This one? Oh yeah. Whoever thought of this idea need they ass eight. It's like I'm guessing it's a honey bun glaze one. I really don't know. It's good. Y'all already know this one. We tried this on the last vlog. 10 out of 10. I'm so ready to try this. Oh my one. god, this food Ooh. is so freaking good. Yeah, it's good. I'm so ready to try this one, and I'm super ready to try that one as well. So I may try them on camera with y'all. Hey, my babes. Her. I'm actually like honestly full. I'm not at home. Y'all, I just left the store. I went to Walmart and Dollar Tree. I went to Walmart and Dollar Tree. I for honestly forgot to pick up my camera. But yeah, I'm on the way to the house now. Let me show y'all this view, honey. If I wasn't driving, I'd really like get it for y'all. But your girl is trying to drive. I just wanted to update y'all on what I was doing. Trying to get back into the swing of vlogging, y'all. Because I'm really not in the swing of vlogging. It's been like a freaking month. But, alright y'all. Yeah, that's what I want. The look. Um, I still want that sandwich. That's for my brother. Okay, but with the rice, what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Okay, and then do it loaded, right? Yes. Okay, gotcha. So, um, the loaded fries, it, it comes loaded, right? Yeah. Okay, do yeah. Do small or large? Small. And you spice them on this one? Mmm, hot. Hot? Pickles yeah. are good? Yeah. Gotcha. That's it? Uh-huh. Yes, yes, ma'am. That meal, yes, ma'am. That meal for my brother. <laughs> We're eating again. <laughs> 
And this the truck, that's the truck right there, that black one that's closed. That's the truck that I went to earlier that I told y'all was really good that I got the burrito tacos from. Um so yeah, that's the other truck that I was telling you about. And I seen this truck that I just went to when I came and got my food earlier. And me and Colin got hungry. And that's kind of what I love about Houston. Like they got so many freaking food trucks. I didn't even know that. And girl, we turned all these fucking food trucks. And in our apartment building, we ran into this guy. And he has a food truck as well. A hibachi food truck. And he's a black man. Don't play with him. I'm going to put it right here on the screen. Just in case you're in Houston area. And honey, his food look good. Me and Colin was going to go there tonight. But they're closed. I think they're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. And then Wednesdays through Sundays they're open. And he's open super late. He got a good amount of followers. And Lil Baby done been, Lil Baby been to his um, food truck. Johnny Dang all them so girl i'm ready to try probably gonna go tomorrow let me see if i can find it really quick hold on yeah he got 15.4k and that's amazing a black man don't play but i'm ready to try this because girl that shit look good and i got loaded chicken tender fries and it come with pickle i should have got extra pickles Damn. and colin he got some i don't know but this shit look good it looks so good so where let me let me go i've been looking for i didn't find me a man girl in houston i don't see a couple in our apartment complex but um yeah um i'm ready to just get out explore go experience different things i'm definitely ready to experience the party scene in houston even though i don't really party like that much i still want to experience it you know, don't walk up to this car um like okay that remind me i need to um load my gun back up i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna show y'all honey i've literally we've been working all day getting an apartment together colin bed came today but he don't like it so he ordered a new one and the new sofa should be here soon I just was like putting all my clothes up. I had to wash all the dishes and I got some new dishes today. So I washed all the dishes. That remind me I got to get them other dishes out of the dishwasher and put them up. But I like to wash my dishes and then run them through the dishwasher so they can be sanitized. That real hot water can clean them and all of that. But I still wash my dishes before I put it. Maybe I'll do like a clean up with me video sometime. Like when the place furnished and stuff. Yeah, I'll show y'all. Y'all, I have like... I'm gonna show you my clothes and shoes. Your girl is low. Like I got rid of everything, sold everything, and only kept just a couple items that I really loved. So I'm starting over. I'm so ready to start over with my wardrobe. Girl, I switch up my style every damn three months. And I think that's what I'm gonna start doing anyways because my my closet and stuff just be so cluttered and so like just so full and shit like that and it be stuff in there that i'm never going to wear again and i don't want to sound like a pick me or whatever but i literally buy stuff wear it one time and don't wear it again unless it's something that i really really like and i can put it with different stuff like i buy stuff and i wear that one outfit because i've been wanting to get out different pictures and stuff for like my content but i'm getting better with that this year i'm buying quality shit so i can keep wearing my stuff over i'm not gonna keep spending money and stuff on clothes and stuff how i used to but um yes i just had stuff in my closet that i ain't wearing in years and stuff like that so all literally all my old stuff that's gone the stuff that i do have is new stuff that i purchased later in 2022 later last year all my old stuff gone okay. <laughs> just what colin got damn, i guess he's not gonna show y'all she asked me if you damn that's a big old sandwich. That shit look good though. That's they that's they um special sauce. Mm -hmm. She asked me if you wanted two chicken tenders or one. I said two hell. Good. I might think I'm weak. If I don't make a certain amount of money, I am not sleep. This what it look like. And y'all, I don't got no fork. I forgot. Excuse me, I broke a nail, y'all.
But is it a hit for Hmm. Cheese kind of tastes like that snow box cheese. Hmm. I ain't got shit got extra pickles because these pickles here. Whoever thought to put pickles on here, you already know what I'm gonna say. No, that you want to take that? You like pickles? never jump first off great morning hope y'all day it's going amazing it's like i got to the gym at like 7 40 but anyways i never jumped rope before and i want to try it well i have jumped rope before but i haven't done it in a long time back home showered and all of that stuff that's why i got my bunny on oh let me show y'all let me go on and show y'all because i know y'all like this girl ain't showed us nothing yet so we got our knives knives right there um paper towel holder and we pretty much got the same setup from the old house but i just feel like it looks 10 times better in here because of like the dark cabinets and stuff so I exchanged these cups because we had to throw the other cups that we had on this one away if y'all know y'all know and we're missing a cup I'm not sure where it's at I got these from Dollar Tree actually let me put y'all on please I be telling y'all do not sleep on Dollar Tree I tell y'all that every time I always get my plates and stuff from Dollar Tree because their plates and cups and stuff is actually very very good they last for years so I picked up these white plates and these small white plates I picked up these blue bowls because I didn't have any um any white ones. Then I picked these up right here. So yeah, girl, don't sleep on Dollar Tree. That's how the kitchen looking so far. I won't show y'all the living room or nothing like that because it's obviously not nothing in here. The uh, sofa should be here on the 20th. So we just I, we just put this table here to like use for jewelry and all that. So I just put my everyday jewelry so I had to keep going in my bag. And these are all my freaking shoes, y'all. They're freaking gone. <laughs> But I just talked to y'all about that. So my shoes, I got my glasses, and I threw all my purses away too, y'all. These are the only purses that I killed. I had so many freaking purses, and I gave some away to Katie, and then the rest that she didn't want, I just threw away. Got my shades up there. Y'all know I had to start my shade collection over week because I lost my whole box of shades. And then I just got my clothes hanging up right here. Um, not sure what I want to do with my night clothes yet. So I just got them up here for now, but I might buy like a bin. And then this is my dirty clothes basket in my, what you call it? So yeah, that's pretty much what we got right now. On or whatever. I'm so freaking hungry, y'all. God, please don't let my camera fall. But let me tell y'all. So y'all know I'm reading this book. And let me go to page 84. 
And it's just something that stuck out to me. It was like, it's so crazy because I literally just told them this. I literally just spoke to them about this. So if you watch my um my last my video, True Spicy Never Hair I Ever, it was like a little section in there when I was just like, um, just because you don't believe in something doesn't mean it's not true. Doesn't mean just because you don't believe in it does not mean that it's not something that's actually real just because you don't believe in it. So that's why I just try to watch how I speak. But in this book, it was like everybody eventually surrenders to something or someone. If not God, you will surrender to the opinions or expectations of others, to money, to resentment, to fear, or to your own pride, lust, or ego. You are designed to worship God, and if you fail to worship Him, worship Him, you will create you will create other things, idols, to give your life to. You are free to choose what you surrender to, but you are not free from the consequences of that choice. And I'm just like that really all resonated with what I said because like in the end you always will suffer the consequences to whatever it is just like I said just because you don't believe in certain things doesn't mean it's not true so if you speak certain ways just because you don't believe that it will come true does not mean that it's not going to come true because when you speak shit out of your mouth it is so powerful and our our words are powerful so I was like if that wasn't a confirmation then I don't know what was I don't know what was we really had to stop trying to make life harder than what it is life was meant to be lived peacefully of course we would have our learnings our testimonies and trials and tribulations that we go through to grow from and elevate from but life is not meant to be hard we have all of us had to just learn and that's what I'm like so big on surrendering now you just really have to learn to surrender to god and surrendering to god is not bad you know it's not a bad thing we as humans we aren't god and we have to stop trying to be in control of everything because we should not lean on our, our own understanding god is the one that created us and he has our will for our life so we can't be going out trying to create stuff when there's not any in god's will for our life say if you if you're going through money problems your solution should not be to go out go out and get three four five jobs your solution should should be to take a step back um and strengthen your mind strengthen your relationship with god give your promise to god and let him lead because you going to overwork yourself is only going to put you in a bigger hole yes you may be make, making the money just to still get by and pay your bills but now you're depressed you're sad you're not you know what i'm saying so instead of going out and trying to get another job take a step back surrender give your problems to god let him lead you let him guide you and get back into like or start reading reading your bible reading your word trying to get revelation from god that's what you need to do not go out and put more problems on yourself you get what i'm saying dear girl that's my little word and preaching moment for today oh i got one more one more that just came out we have to learn how to um love people the way that they need to be loved yes us as humans and us as a whole we should all have the like basic steps on how to love and care for people and all of that but we are all different human beings we are all different so the way that i love to be the way that i want to be loved may not be the way that my husband want to be loved or my mother or brother or friends like that may not be the way they want to be loved so that's why it's so important that you get to know the people that you're around or whoever you're in relationships with whether it's a platonic relationship or if it's a intimate relationship you have to get to know that person and try to be there from for them try to learn them in the way that they need to be loved and like an example of that is like last night my brother was trying to put his bed together and he just kept getting so freaking aggravated because he couldn't like figure out you know whatever it was and so like i was gonna get in the shower and i wanted to really listen to my music because that's just kind of what i do i either listen to my music or i sit in silence and talk to god but last night i wanted to listen to my music but i just seen on his face that he was so aggravated and i know my brother if he's already aggravated he don't want to hear no extra noise and i'm just i'm actually saying the same way me and my brother are just like it's it's so crazy we are we at just a fucking like 
everybody thought we were twins, but we're not twins. We look alike and we act alike. But I knew if I had turned on that music, it would have aggravated him even more. So sometimes you have to lower yourself to make somebody else feel better. It's not always about you. So I just decided to not listen to my music. And I decided to just take that time to just talk with God. Like I look for, I always try to look for good in a situation and a better outcome to just make everything, you know, to make everything better. But, um, so I just didn't play my music. And then I also knew also, if he get an attitude and come at me with a little attitude, I'm gonna get one right goddamn back. So, you know, sometimes you just have to pay attention. You have, well, not say I'm gonna get an attitude back because I have, that was the old me. The new me is a little bit different. I'm more understanding and stuff like that. But stuff still triggers me. I'm human and I'm still, you know, growing and evolving. So yeah, you know, in order for us all to just calm down and gather our thoughts and stuff, I just, didn't play my music, talked to God, got out of the bathroom, and we was all good, laughing, went to get something to eat, as y'all seen last night. So yes, learn to stop trying to love people how you want to love them. You know, of course you can still do your certain ways or whatever, but you need to be there for people how they need you to be there for them. Rather, if it's like, you need to pay attention to them more and um, talk with them more when they're down, like, you just have to learn or, Say if like, okay, she act this way. If she's hungry, this how she act. If she's tired, this how she act. And this is what I need to do. Even when it comes to like your boyfriend or your husband, your spouse. Okay, he acting this way. I know he's tired. Let me go do this for him. Make his life better. Cook, run his bath water or whatever he like. Whatever he likes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, girl. I actually had to edit a video. I was trying to put out a video today, but it's already 1 o'clock. And I honestly don't know. My goal was to edit it yesterday, which I had started editing, but I was in here cleaning up and doing all of that. So I honestly don't want to like really sit in the house. So I might put on some clothes or something and go downstairs and um and then I may take like a walk or something today. When I was in the gym, I just seen everybody walking this morning. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do that. And it's so crazy because I've been waiting for like moments. To where I could just get out and just walk and feel safe and stuff like that. And I feel like I'm finally, that's why I love this city. I just love this city. <sighs> okay, y'all, this is what I'm looking like today. Or whatever. I'm about to go grocery shopping now. I'm not bringing my camera because I really don't have the space for it. Okay, y'all, so I'm back from the store. And I went to Trader Joe's in Clover. So I'm about to put up the stuff now. I got some new stuff from Trader Joe's, so I'm super excited to try. I got these for Colin. This for Colin. It's a rice cauliflower bowl. So, mm, y'all, I found. I believe I forgot who. I think it was Kyra that I seen, but it was. I know it was a YouTuber that I seen taking these shots, and I was like, baby, I need to find these shots because y'all know my immune system is just crazy. So I got this turmeric shot, the ginger one, and this is escarolo cherry, I don't know, but this is has like vitamin C in it. And um, I tried to find the ones that Colin used, but I didn't see them in there. So they had more, we're gonna try them next time. Um, I picked up these, they look good, I don't know. Strawberry yogurt, oats. Um, picked up this pizza, Colin probably gonna eat this more than me. Picked up, I picked up some snacks for us to eat. These some um, chocolate covered pretzels. Y'all, is everything in Trader Joe's healthy? Like everything or just certain stuff? I got these candies right here. I don't know, I just picked these up. Some vegetable samosas. I just trying to try to find like healthy stuff for us to eat. I got these mango popsicles. The ones that we normally eat is at like Kroger and Publix and stuff. They are so freaking good. They're um, I'll, I'll get some next time so y'all can see. I got these for me and Colin to try. I'm ready to try those. I picked up some chicken nuggets made from plants. So we got like three bags. I don't know if y'all want to see everything I got. I just picked these up. Now Trader Joe's has some pretty pasta. I'm gonna go back and get more. I picked up these dry strawberries. I got some ice cream. This is okie dokie. Um, oat, nine dairy, frozen. Ice cream. 
And this, oh, this is vegan. Ooh, I'm ready to try that. And then I picked up, we love coffee ice cream, y'all. So this, I picked up this matcha tea for Colin, cause I know he would probably like that. Picked up some um, white cheddar popcorn, but I believe I tried that white cheddar popcorn before and it wasn't as cheddary, but we got some other white, like the regular white, white cheddar popcorn in there. What's the, what else in here? Mm, I picked up these um, organic garlic crackers. I know these are gonna be good. If y'all know them other crackers, they taste like chicken. I love those. So that's why I picked these up because hopefully it's something like that. Oh, I picked up some maple pecan granola for like our yogurt and stuff. But I also want to add these in like cereals that don't have oat in it. I mean granola in it because I love granola. I picked up these cookies for us to eat. I believe these are. Contains wheat, milk, soy egg, and coconut. Covered peanuts, everything but the bagel seasoning. Colin loved this stuff. I'm just showing y'all what I got from Trader Joe's because all this stuff in Kroger, I'm not showing y'all. That's just really stuff we always eat that y'all probably always see me cooking with and having. I bought like some steak, chicken, um, and all of that. So we're gonna make some good meals. I'm gonna do a cooking video on how I make my Chipotle bowl because I know y'all wanna see that and it's so freaking good. So good. So I'm gonna show y'all how I make it. I know I made it on the vlog a while back, but it wasn't like a detailed video. I gotta get some more pots and pans because the movers didn't bring my pots and pans. So we gotta get some more, y'all. It's that other about I had about two bowls like this for Colin because I didn't want to get too much because I didn't know if he was gonna like it. And I never tried dumplings, so I picked them up to try. They had so many different kinds, but I just played it safe and got the chicken dumplings. But they had hamburger steak and cheese dumplings like they had a lot so if i like these i may try the other kinds and these are vegetable spring rolls right here you can probably pop these in the oven but more than likely i'm gonna fry them and yeah oh i got some shredded carrots because i'm gonna cook a meal with that and then i got these potatoes for us to eat they're vegan potatoes so these might be good you can pop them in the oven or an air fryer or something like that. Yeah, girl, this is all the stuff that I got from Trader Joe's. And then we got all our groceries over there too. So I'm gonna put this up. I guess y'all can watch me put the stuff up. Y'all, I picked these up because I've been seeing the hype about these. So I'm so ready to try these. I only picked one up. This is the ginger lime. And this is the watermelon. They had other flavors. And I was trying to wait to see if I would see some at Trader Joe's, but I didn't. So. If they're good, I'm gonna pick up some more for this to have. I picked up these two teas because y'all know I have to always drink my tea morning and night. But I picked up this. I never tried these two. So I picked up the ginger peach, turmeric, and the lemon in Ichana. I girl, I don't know what they say. But yeah. Oh, this rice is so freaking good. If you have not tried it, please try it. I have not ate it in so long. We didn't have a Kroger in San Antonio. And they didn't sell these in HEB, so I was so happy to pick up some of this. Okay, y'all, so I'm done. This is everything up here, all the seasonings, and all of that. I put our sugar in here, and I put my tea packets up in there. What the freezer is looking like. And then the pantry so we still have a lot of like filling up to do but girl all this stuff was like four four hundred and something dollars so yeah i put all that up and y'all know like remember all those containers and stuff we had to like separate our pastas and just all that all of that was left at the other house so um 
we had to get that's why it's not really organized how we normally have it organized but girl it's gonna do and i'm very hungry right now so i'm probably about to eat some cereal and then i got, i have to like what well, i actually finished like going through my video and editing and taking out what i didn't want in there now i just have to go in and just like do finishing touches and it's already 2:48, so hopefully i can have it up by six but okay the couch is here y'all so we're probably gonna put it up in a minute excuse my little mat, <laughs> mat on the floor because we literally have nowhere to sit and this floor is so freaking hard so i do not want to sit on the floor i'm just editing probably gonna put this couch up later because i have to get this video out okay hey y'all so it is the next day make sure y'all go shop Rennie posh i have on darling right now the link will be down below for y'all to purchase and shop but i had stopped recording last night because the light in here is so horrible at night so i'm just gonna like really have to make sure i record during the day when i have to do the videos but oh let me this is um part of the couch i did one two three i did five of them last night and then i have these three left and those the empty boxes over there so i'm about to finish those so i'll probably show y'all me putting them together it took me a little minute last night but it's honestly so easy to do so easy to put together it's just kind of time consuming so i had got tired and went and got me some to eat last night i tried that well, we tried the hibachi truck last night that I was telling you about. It was so good. Hold on. Yeah, it was so good. It was super good. I was going to show y'all. I took my camera and all. But I ended up just getting footage on my phone because I'm going to create a real or like a TikTok. Real or TikTok. But yeah, I'm about to drink my tea right now. I just got out the shower freshen up and stuff i'm about to finish putting these together so i can get the couch together then i'm gonna like read my books and all that and probably go to the gym tonight and i'm cooking tonight too and i'm gonna make a video i told y'all that on how i make my so yeah i'm gonna make a video on how i make my at home chipotle which to me and i'm not even exaggerating to me it tastes way better than chipotle and even colin said it so not trying to brag or nothing like but it's very, very good and I feel like it tastes better. The chicken, because I put like my little own extra flavoring and seasonings on it. Oh y'all, and I'm gonna make some crab cakes. But I don't think I'm gonna make that tonight. I th might make that another day, another day. Cause I got a lot to do today. But all right, girl, finna drink my tea real quick. And probably take that shot. Y'all, I took, I think I took the ginger shot last night. I, I forgot which one I took, but that shit was hot. It was spicy, but the spice literally only lasted five ten seconds and i drank some water right after it and it was gone so it wasn't like a bad spicy but colin gonna go to the gym first i need to get a breakfast snack well i won't say breakfast snack but um i always get some oj and then i'm gonna have to get this granola bar called um chewy this is my favorite last time somebody ate it all they were like damn they pinch are empty it's giving empty, but I like the peanut butter chocolate chip one, so I'm gonna get some. And that's what I do when I get ready to go to the gym. I'm doing cardio today. Use this stomach. All right. Cheers. This one tastes better than the one yesterday, though, and it don't burn.
just now you wishing you was with me living life so true Giving all your friends that I was cool They don't know that you be on that bullshit Even though they didn't think that I was so stupid But I ain't tripping, just don't push it It's cool, I'ma focus on my vision Cause you only get one pass So stupid, and it's so amusing. Your effort is so useless, and now you're gonna waste your time chasing me. Ain't no need to waste your time. Okay, y'all. So this is the one that I just put together. Okay, y'all. So I just came back on really quick to show y'all what the couch looked like. I put it together. It's finally freaking done. So now we just gotta like decorate and all of that. This is, um, let me show y'all really quick. Excuse this box, honey. I'm gonna put my nails off and all, girl. So they have multiple different ways that you can do the couch. But um, I decided to do it this way. And I was thinking like me and Kyla can probably like watch a movie or something one night and do it one of these ways. And this is what it looks like when you put it all together. So you could definitely watch a movie or something on here to be super fun. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and end out this video because I'm pretty sure it's super freaking long. So thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all. Talk with y'all later. My nails are, yeah, I gotta fix them. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later. And see y'all in the next video.